The ability to detect new nevi or changes in pre-existing nevi is critical for the early detection of melanoma. Equally, the ability to demonstrate stability or a lack of change in nevi provides reassurance for both patients and doctors alike. Baseline total body photography is a reference point for ongoing skin cancer surveillance in high-risk groups and is required for objective confirmation or change as well as detection of new lesions. We want to test whether melanoma surveillance with baseline total body photography, either 2D or 3D with stacked demoscopic images, results in improved diagnostic accuracy and earlier detection of melanoma compared to clinical surveillance without baseline photography. Of course, this is a major aim. However, we are also interested in whether there is a reduced number of unnecessary biopsies in high-risk individuals, which can be reduced using melanoma surveillance photography. Study participants randomized to the intervention arm will attend a research clinic and receive a baseline total body imaging with dermoscopy for comparison at future routine surveillance visits. These image files will be uploaded onto a secure USB device for participants to review with their regular treating doctor or dermatologist. Similar to conducting a full skin examination, Using your patient's images for the surveillance of their skin should be performed in a systematic way. Where possible, we recommend having your patient as close as possible to the computer screen to make assessing both the patient and the body map and identifying changes easier. To start the examination, insert the USB stick and double-click Dermographics Viewer software or the other software depending on what system your patient has had their photos taken. This will open the patient file dashboard where you will be able to see the body map thumbnail and additional 2D views of the patient. Open the body map to view the 3D total body image by double clicking on the body map thumbnail. To rotate the image, Click the arrow buttons in the navigator in the bottom left corner of the screen. To move to a specific body region, click or drag the navigation box to the desired region. To zoom in and out over an area of interest, double click on the area of interest or scroll over the area of interest with your computer mouse. Next. Commence your skin examination on the patient, moving systematically through all regions of the body. If there are any nevi that catch your eye, these should be directly compared to the dermoscopic images on the body map. Next, perform a synchronized assessment of the body map and anatomical sites in the same systematic order that you performed your routine skin examination looking at the macroscopic images to scan for gross changes or new lesions. It is important to note that you will not be able to assess the scalp for patients with hair or the soles of their feet on the 3D body map. The presence of blue or yellow circles or markers over a lesion indicate that a dermoscopy image is available to view. To view the associated dermoscopy images, Click on the circled lesion. This will open the dermoscopy image. In some cases, previous dermoscopy thumbnails will be present in the top right corner of the screen, representing previously captured dermoscopic images of the lesion. These can be viewed by clicking on each image. To view all captured dermoscopic images, Use the navigational arrows to move through the lesion numbers and view the associated dermoscopic images. Alternatively, you may click on a circled lesion marker 
to select a different lesion to view. To assess a dermoscopic image in greater detail, select the wide view icon. To assess dermoscopic images from different time points side by side for comparison, select the split side by side icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. From here, you may do a close-up assessment of any lesions to assess for change, and again, by using the mouse to select on areas of interest or by scrolling the wheel of your mouse in and out. To close the dermoscopic viewer of the screen and move back to the body map, select the lesion icon. Once you have completed your total body examination, close the Dermographics Viewer software and remove the USB from the computer. Give the USB back to the patient to take home with them and to bring back to their next total body imaging research study appointment. Make notes recording any basic information about patient risk factors or any lesions which warrant dermoscopy or further consideration at follow-up visits. Mm -hmm.